Look at my film autographs. Oh, hi, hi everybody and welcome to the first look at this book full of autographs for film actors who have appeared in either Carry On, The Goonies, James Bond, Star Wars or View Askew, that's Kevin Smith's movies. Uh, as with my previous autograph ones, this will be split over two or three videos. Uh, there won't be introductions to parts two or three, so just carry on watching. It'll all make sense. Let's get cracking. So first up we have Sean Astin who could have been in my Angel folder because he did direct an episode of Angel but he's in here, he's probably best known for The Goonies and Lord of the Rings met him at Collector Mania 7, very nice guy uh, then we have Ooh. Ray Park, who played Darth Maul in Star Wars uh, since I met him he was in Heroes and the X-Men but this was again at Collector Mania 7, my very first Collector Mania. And again, he's a really nice guy. Kenny Baker, R2D2. Uh, he was only the second person I ever met, again at Collector Mania 7. And I was still very nervous, so I didn't really chat to him. But he seemed quite quiet, but pleasant enough. The very first person I met was Peter Mayhew and played Chewbacca back when he only cost £15 as opposed to about the 80 he's charging nowadays but again it was just because I was new to it all and he was the first person I met it was just a case of can you sign this please I didn't even have the guts to ask him to personalise it I soon got into the swing of things same event I think this might have been the next day, so I was a bit more into it by then. And this is Dave Prowse, played Darth Vader, of course, in Star Wars films, amongst many other performances. But he commented on how much he liked this picture, as do I, which is why I chose it. Uh, this is a fake. This was an eBay purchase, I didn't pay a lot of money for it. But yeah, this is a fake. Then we have Claire Fulani, who was in here because she was in Mallrats. Uh, she's done lots of stuff, uh, Meet Joe Black, oh, lots and lots of things anyway. But yes, yeah, so that was an eBay purchase, unsure of authenticity on that. It's also an eBay purchase, Matt Damon. Uh, this is still from Saving Private Ryan. Again, he was in a few Viewer Skew movies, which is why he's in here. As I say, again, uncertain of authenticity. Same applies to Ben Affleck, who did lots of viewer skew movies. This is a through the mail of Barbara Windsor. It's from Carry On Henry. Uh, dear Martin, love Barbara Windsor. She also enclosed a couple of signed um, cast cards, which are in another folder, which is in here for the Carry On collection. As is Leslie Phillips, who I met at a Collector Mania, can't remember which one, but he was very nice. Hello Martin, Leslie Phillips, ding dong. Then we have the late great lovely Carrie Fisher, who I met at my first London Film and Comic Con, uh, 2003, no, whichever one it was anyway. Uh, Again, she was a lot cheaper than she was towards the end of her life. But she was lovely, gave me a lovely hug. And was very chatty. Yeah, really nice meet. Much missed. As is June Whitfield. This was at a Collector Mania, same one that uh, Leslie Phillips was at. And again in here for the Carry On collection, although she could be in the Doctor Who book. Jason Mewes. Okay, AJ from Jay and Silent Bob for Kevin Smith characters. This was at London Film and Comic Con. His catchphrase, Snooch to the Nooch. Top guy. This is Jake Lloyd. Played Anakin Skywalker in Phantom Menace. 
I really like this photo. It's a publicity steal from the time, but a foreshadowing of who he becomes. Uh, surprisingly nice. He's got a lot of stick, none of which really should be levelled at him. He didn't cast himself. He didn't write the script. But yeah, so he, he seemed a bit apprehensive, but as soon as anybody went up and was positive towards him, he, he reciprocated. This was an eBay purchase of Robin Asquith, who was in At One Carry On, and all the Confessions films and lots of other stuff as well. Uh, I think he's been in Benidorm more recently, hasn't he? Uh, but yeah, that was eBay purchase, so I'm happy that's genuine. Why would you fake a Robin Asquith signature for a start? This was through the mail. This was the lovely Jackie Piper who did a number of carry-ons. She also enclosed a signed headshot. A smaller one, which is in another folder. This was also Collectomania... S no, it can't have been because I had a photo. This must be in Collectomania 9, because I didn't go to 8. Uh, this is Warwick Davis. And this was, as I say, at Collectomania... This is him as Marvin in the film of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And he added, pardon me for breathing, one of Marvin's lines. And then this is him. This is him as Wicket. So he's put Martin Yubby up and signed it and dated it, 2006. But he accidentally put Willow rather than Wicket on there. This is Billy D. Williams. Played Lando Carizian in Empire and Return of the Jedi, and is going to be in uh, the new one. Have they announced the title for that one yet? Episode 9, anyway. I can't remember if they've announced the title or not. But yeah, he was quite quiet, but pleasant enough. He was also um, Harvey Dent in the first Batman film. It, it, the first, excluding the 66 one. Uh, this was Dame Diana Rigg who I met at the entertainment media show. Never thought she'd do an event, was thrilled when she did. This is her from Honor Majesty's Secret Service, where she played Tracy. Uh, since then, she's gone on to be in Game of Thrones, of course. Just a legendary actress, and she was really surprisingly nice. She had a bit of a reputation, but no, really, really nice, really warm. Hel held everyone's hands in a photo shoot and everything. Yeah, really happy to have met Diana. This was at a different entertainment media show, or it might have been Collector Mania London at that time. But this is Shannon Doherty, who's in here for her appearance in More Rats. Uh, came to fame in Beverly Hills 90210, of course, then was in Charmed, and many other things. But she was very nice. I had a little chat about this particular picture. This was at the same event, I think. This is Oliver Skeet, who was actually a uh, show jumper, but had a role in uh, The World Is Not a Die Another Day. Die Another Day. Which was his reason for being there, really. But he was really nice. And nice little self portrait on the autograph. This was the late Bernard Horsfall. I think that's how you pronounce his surname who was in Honor Majesty's Secret Service and also did a number of Doctor Whos and this is from Doctor Who I believe but he was really nice I had a little chat about my journey to the event which was a traumatic one at the time because I was staying at my friend's house and the route to her house was via the Blackwall Tunnel and the Blackwall Tunnel was closed so I had to tr try and find another way over anyway uh, this is Nina Young who was in Tomorrow Never Dies and she's also in Harry Potter it's one of her paintings I believe but she was really nice very warm very friendly um when I asked her to make it out to Martin she said oh my my late husband's name was Martin I said oh sorry I said no 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 we still get on so I had a little laugh about that and she, she was very hands-on when she came around for a photo which is always nice without being sleazy this was David Yip. This was at a Collector Mania. This is him in View to a Kill. And he's probably most famous for being the Chinese detective in the series of that name. But he was very, very nice. This was through the mail. It's probably secretarial. So Gemma Arterton. This is her as Agent Fields, who the title revealed her 
Christie name was Strawberry Fields uh, in Quantum of Solace. This was received at the same time. This is her in the first St. Trinian's film. This was two different events. So first I met John Reese davies who plays General Pushkin in Living Daylights. He's just one of the nicest people you could meet. He's just so interested in you. He'll chat and chat and chat and chat. And he's just, yeah, it's just like so really, really nice guy. And as you can see, he put a quote, Martin, I die for world peace. General Pushkin, KGB retired. John Reese davies And then a couple of years later, that was at a Collector Mania 13, I want to say. Uh, then a couple of years later, I met um, Virginia ha Hay. Yeah, Hay, Hay, G Y. At a, I think it was London Comic Con. Might have been in an entertainment media show or a winter one, but I think it was London Comic Con who was trying to think of something to add to that but couldn't think of anything so just put to dearest martin tons of love the virginia hay and put her character name on there as well <coughs> this was purchased from a vendor at a london comic con uh he had been a guest at an autographica so i know it's genuine but this is signed by stanley morgan who played the concierge in dr no 